Hey everybody, welcome to Finding Ithaca. Uh, today, I wanted to start off by, uh, the topic for our discussion today is gonna be about anxiety. And we have a special guest with us who's joining us. Her name is Charlie. Uh, Charlie, uh, you wanna say hi to everybody at Finding Ithaca? Hi. Thanks so much for joining us. Now, Charlie is a student at Franklin Academy and I was talking with her yesterday and uh, just to give you a little bit of background, Charlie's been feeling a little bit anxious lately, a little bit fearful about certain subjects at school. And she's been kind of nervous. And sometimes it leads her to feel like her heart's pounding or like she's feeling like she's uh, feeling sad, you know, things like that. And so yesterday we had a discussion together and we talked about how your mind actually controls your heart, right? So your thoughts actually control your feelings and your feelings then in turn control your actions right and so all a lot of times that we need is we need to be thinking differently about ourselves but charlie we oftentimes all of us feel anxious don't we yeah so i told you a story charlie yesterday when you came in to talk to me about uh, imagine that you were on a subway right and the subway it's going through new york city and it's underground and all of a sudden the subway stops and the lights go out and it is silent. And uh, how did you feel when I told you that? I felt sad, like, well, I was really, really nervous that it would never come on again. And I would just, I just went like crazy. I went like crazy, like, like in a sad way. Right. And, and I remember you even started to tear up a little bit. You felt really sad. And I said, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. And I said, uh, I'm going to give you some new information in your brain that's going to make your heart feel better. Right. And we talked about the conductor from that subway gets on and says, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry for the delay. We had a problem. I'm just rebooting the system. And in about uh, 10 seconds, we'll be on our way and the lights will be back on. And I said, and then the lights come on. And how would you feel then, Charlie? I just felt really happy. I just wanted to run all across, across the room because I was just so happy. Now, as you see how when you have new information in your brain, your heart can feel better and you can feel less anxious. Now, Charlie, I want to tell you a little story that happened to me, real life story that happened to me. I felt really anxious. OK, so I was uh, this was back in September or something. I was driving to school and uh, I was driving what I thought was close to the normal speed limit. I thought it was about 45 miles an hour. And uh, I got pulled over by a police officer. And I was like, uh, is there a problem, officer? And he said, sir, you were just driving like 45 in a 25 school zone. And I was like, no way. And so he, he wrote me a speeding ticket and said, I'm, I'm going to reduce your fine a little bit, but you know, you, you were going through a school zone pretty fast. And so I took the ticket. And then the next day when I was driving the same route, I checked where the sign would be. I said, I always slow down for school zones. This is weird that I got a ticket. So I look and the sign is completely covered up by tr a tree that had overgrown. Let me share a picture of what that looked like with everybody so they can take a look and see what I'm talking about. So you can see in this picture that that school zone sign is actually covered up by that tree pretty, pretty substantially. I mean, if you're on the street, you can't even see what the speed limit is. So I, uh, I took a picture and then I uh, had a court date where I had to get on Zoom, just like I'm in Zoom with you right now, Charlie. And the, the judge was there and the police officer. The police officer showed up and he said, uh, you know, uh, your honor, I'm going to raise the penalty and I'm going to say that he was going 45 and a 25. So if I got that ticket and if I couldn't prove otherwise, I might lose my license. That would be terrible. And so I felt very anxious. I was sweating. I was feeling scared, you know, inside my heart was beating. Must like, must've been how you felt, huh, Charlie? Yeah, probably. Anyway, uh, I had that picture and I showed the judge and he let me off. How do you think I felt then? Oh, relieved. Yeah. Relieved. <laughs> that was did. such a predicament. It was. And, you know, uh, thankfully, I felt, I told myself, okay, I think I've got a good excuse. I've got this picture that sign you can't you know you can't see that sign so the judge sided with me and he let me off and so I felt so much better just like uh you know we're trying to help you feel better and so anyway um I 
wanted to ask you, Charlie, how do you feel right now? Do you, you were saying you were nervous about being on the show. Do you feel pretty good right now? Pretty confident? Yeah. I feel in the middle. In the middle. Okay, good. But you know what? You, I'm so thankful that you decided to come on the show with me today, that you decided to be brave. And because guess what? Everybody else who gets to see you up on here is going to be pretty impressed with, uh, with how confident you are to get up here because it can be kind of scary. But I think that you're doing a great job. I'm so proud of you. I want you to know that I believe in you and I want you to feel confident. Remember, I told you, I'm going to introduce some new thoughts into your brain. I said, you're beautiful. Remember, I told you that. And I said, yeah. you are smart. And I want you to think like that. And I want you to believe it. Okay? Okay. So your thoughts control your feelings. Your feelings will then control your actions. We're going to step into a new reality for you and for me. And we're going to think positively about ourselves. And from here on out, it's going to be smooth sailing on Finding Ithaca. Okay? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. And uh, I want you to say the catchphrase that we always end with. Say, catch you next time. Catch you next time. Thanks so much. <laughs>